Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 28. Last time Halsin um, went through a portal to retrieve Thaniel, the kid that is some sort of a spirit, a spirit of this area in particular. Uh, well, it's down to the curse, obviously. It's because of the curse that he was split in two, sort of thing. So, um, what happened is that Halsin retrieved his body, but is his spirit or some different being? And if you watch the last episode, you realize that we've heard. Uh, something over here so it's quite probably here obviously but yeah let's get to it without more further ado it's a dead git yankee here what the hell Maybe they want to play. <laughs> Boo! i scared you i saw it nobody beats me at hide and seek that's him like an echo of Thaniel, remolded by the curse. We need him if we're to put a stop to all of this. Will you play with me? Okay, Oliver. Play. This is no place for a child. Uh, if that's even what you are, okay. Of course I am. Now you're going to play with me or not? Well, we could say this straight away. The thing is, uh, this is so unstable that you should not be, um, like, not rules, basically. I have a mummy, a daddy, and a doggy. They'll be back in a while, but you're here now, and I want to play. Hmm. Have you seen an, uh, have you seen another little boy? His name is Thaniel. Okay, let's see how he reacts to that. I don't know anyone called that. Don't ask me again. Now play with me. Yikes. Let's save because I'm not entirely sure how this will unravel. Let's see what happens if we play. All right. I'll hide and you seek. Hasin is a Bruce. Let's make this quick. We need to reunite him with Daniel. Find me and you win. And if I don't find you, then you lose. Okay. Get ready. And no cheating. Shouldn't I be able to to see invisible because of Volo's eye? Ah, oh, there it is. You weren't supposed to find me. Oh, perception you fail. Hmm, I wonder what I missed with that. You're not my mummy. Don't tell me what to do. Let's play another game. I deserve a chance to even the score. No, 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 no. We're not finished. Well, shit. Oh, daddy. All right. Oh, it's here. Okay, I didn't see him. Well, let's... Let's take... The owl bear out. In the meanwhile, while we fight, let me tell you a few things about today. We might... We might see another... Another um, sibling today. A, a, another thorn sibling. You might remember 
ev every boss that we have fought, well, we, we have not fought them because they... <laughs> somehow we managed to make them kill themselves in a way or another. But they were all form. They were all related in a way. Today we might find another one. And when that happens, we might uh, talk about background story, although there is not much to indicate uh, there other than other than speculations. The sixty the forty percent's missing. Nothing will stand in my way. I reckon I shouldn't kill the kid. We need him. Oh yeah, I have a really good bow. I didn't. I don't think I, I showed it on camera. But this one I bought from Damon. Just so you know. If you're trying to keep up to date to whatever builds uh, and and objects I got. No. Where do I go from here? Oh, still there. Okay. Oh, it's up there, lol. Let none impede me. Ah, damn. Totally useless, uh, <laughs> leap right there. Can't stay idle. Let's see. Brilliant. Why? <laughs> Why is it always Garlack? There we are. What? Wait, where did he go? Should get some rest. I need to keep sharp. Bet I can crack that open. Actually, yeah, we should get. Oh my god. Ah, uh, resting. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's axe. I mean, it says it's here. Yeah. 
Well, okay, I think we need to talk to Halsen about this. But for some reason, um, you have to talk to him at, in, at camp. Like, it's not the same when you do... When you do it out there. Look at that. <laughs> the fuck? Is he bugged? Yeah. We need to find Oliver and get him to return to Thaniel. Otherwise, this curse will never be lifted. No. It seems like it doesn't. And even even then, like we we have the Volos eye. Anything that's invisible, we should be able to see it. Saving throw. That's interesting. Oliver and get him to return to Thaniel. Otherwise, this curse will never be lifted. Yeah, it gets it gives me another option when we are at camp. Why is he bugging today? Oliver and yes, yes. To to Can I ever even Otherwise, be found after what happened? Our chances are lift, uh, of lifting the curse may be ruined. Perhaps not. If he truly is a part of Thaniel, then he is beyond life and death. More likely he's just hiding. We should return to where you saw him. But that's it. It seems. Oh, there he is. Why didn't he show before? That's odd. No, go away. Ugh. He's scarped. We'd better track him down if the shadows don't stop us first. Oh, what the hell? Very well. Holy shit. Okay, so this was supposed to happen. However, it seems like we had to go to camp and talk to Halsin and chose a, choose a specific option in order for the portal to show. That's a bit weird. Night Dome. Okay, so I'll explain it to you this. Um, well, no, no, no. Let's carry on, and then I'll address it. Go on. But it's pretty obvious. We need to get this kid back into Thaniel's. Which definitely makes some damage to the dome. I'll make my own fun if I have to, and my own friends. 
Right. So he just casted a bunch of uh, kits. And the thing is, we don't really have to worry about them, although they are 1 HP, obviously. The important thing is to uh, destroy the dome. If we destroy the dome, everything else goes away. And he's gonna keep casting them, I think. Why they always slip Karlak? Damn, that's not damage. Yeah, I don't know if they can actually hit. Well, fuck. They actually do. Goddamn. Oh, there was a kid in front of it. Let's cast the frenzy. Let us see the battle one. Damn. Ah, oh, that one that was weird. well then <laughs> and the noises let me show you my favorite toy oh no oh no Not again, oh my god. Fucking hell, Carla hasn't had a turn in ages. But I'm also an idiot because I I keep casting guiding bolt instead of the uh the blessing. This came the one, right? It actually does one. <laughs> Where's jumping? Fucking hell. At least it missed. That would have been brutal. Damn, Halcyon's about to die. Yeah, the thing is, if we can manage to... Mm, shit. I waste the action here. Moving. I only have one shot, yeah. those right 
I should have done this like at the beginning. <laughs> because now I don't have the... Yeah, it's too far. Let's see. The shadows are immune to prone. Nice. Ouch. Oh, well, shit. Interrupted by what? Well, it's a shadow. It's just a shadow, right? Mm. Well, it's not gonna do any damage with none of it, this, really. Unless I cast this, but I don't I'm not really sure I should. I got the path interrupted, right? Yeah. There you are. Just leave me alone. Why can't I just stay here playing? I had everything I've ever wanted right here. And you've ruined it. I'm not leaving. You can't make me. Be gentle. He's much more than a child. But he doesn't truly know that. Very well. You have what uh, you have what you want, but not what you need. Daniel, he's your friend, your kin. He's you, all right. So yeah, like you can just go fucking kill, almost kills uh, what Halsen. He's nothing to me. He left me here all this time. I had to do everything for myself, even when it was scary, even when I was alone. I didn't give up. But would he even want me back? I've changed. A lot. Right. You're so bound to each to other. He'd stay with me. Play with me. I'd like that. And he would too, I think. All right. I'll do it. I want to do it. Well done. Are you crying? You're a bit big to be crying. Lol. But I suppose that's okay. Bye. And thank you for playing with me. It's done, at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. We should return to Thaniel when we can. Right. So this is obviously one of the... Uh, one of the uh, one more of those annoying bits with the shadows. Kinda boring to fight them. Yeah. But from here 
we should go to camp and speak to Halsin because this is the point when we are going towards mm, the Moonrise Towers. We need to get going towards there. There is where the party is going to start for real. So I wasted a lot of stuff, got nothing. We should actually rest. I had the short rests, both of them, I think, but we should anyway. So. Halsin. Oh, there's Daniel. Um, the druid Halsin spoke to me while I was sleeping. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor still holding the shadows in place. The soul that brought it into being for the land to heal. Ketherick Thorn must die. Ketherick Thorn. Oh, we really need to get talking about Ketherick Thorn. Well, a few things you already know I have told you. But a lot of people subscribed ever since the series started, so might as well mention he was a Dark Justicer commander. He was a Seluna worshipper until he wasn't anymore. And he basically started to to worship the counterpart, which is Shar. Uh, but yeah. We'll get to, to a lot of that, trust me. Uh, well, it seems like that's it. Just to talk to Thaniel. Let's go rest. It's sort of like a dark paladin now. And the people that we fought, it's siblings of him. Uh, but yeah, I'm get, getting ahead of myself. We are going to possibly encounter another one in a bit. Just checking. No one needs to talk. And really soon we should get Starion back in. But we have a few things uh, regarding Shadowheart that needs feeling. Uh, maybe after after the whole thing with Moonrise Towers, just so you know. You oh, this these guys. Such a pastoral escape. Free of predators, annoyances, obligations. One accepted, of course. We made a bargain, sweet stuff. Didn't we? And I've come to collect. We didn't use them in the end. Oh, yeah, right. So at the beginning, the first time, he asked for 500. I don't know if you guys remember this. And we told him that we would pay double for next time, which we actually did, I think. We hired them once more. And then what we did is we tricked him. So he left unpaid. Uh, we have new bargain. I pay nothing and you leave <laughs> leave the camp alive. Oh, uh, so it's so good to have charisma as a paladin. Holy shit, it's at 20. Fucking hell. Shit. Okay, we got inspiration. Oh, fuck. Okay, only once more. If it doesn't, we I'm gonna get fighting him, fighting them. Right. Mm, that's a fight I may not win. <sighs> Pity too. I found an ale that would bear nicely with your marrow. Alas, I must find another's bones to crack. Right. So we never paid him. They lived. All right. <laughs> All 
right let me i got the chest right beside me i don't know why i'm do why i'm doing this <laughs> look look how halcyon slips Radio. We're gonna keep housing for a little while. We're gonna have to bench him really soon. So might as well just bring him uh, in the meanwhile. So from here, uh, we got this one pretty close and it's the. Well, this is Moonrise Towers. House of Healing, we went through that. But here as well, there is a tavern that they spoke about before. If I'm not mistaken, it's over here. That is a tall house, and this is the one that we didn't explore. The waning moon, the tavern, basically. That sign above. This must be a brewery or distillery. I could use a drink after wondering these words. But you can see uh, there's many people not really. Not really threatening. And so far. Every Thorm sibling we've encountered, we've made them kill themselves. I wasn't sure that was a thing. I'm not, I'm not entirely certain. Well, look at that. He's over there. Not entirely certain if that can be done. Holy shit, almost 300. If that can be done with everyone. But why not? Might as well try. If not, well, doesn't really matter. Right. What in the nine hells are you? Son of Thorm! Son of Sword Coast! Son of Thorm. So Go on! Kills! Bottoms up! Go nuts! It's bloated like a corpse and smells worse. Did the curse do this? Well, we don't really trust this. Uh, not really. Oh, well. Well, two out of three. To the hills and back. Two out of three is not bad. <laughs> um, so, okay. A few things to mention about this guy. Since we are going to fight him. Is that he's only... Susceptible to elemental strength. damage. But since we're at it, let's talk about this, the siblings of Thorn. As he said, he's the, um, he's the son, Ketherick Thorn. But this cannot be possible. At least what he does is that he believes himself or um, mentions himself as son of Ketherick. And if this was to be possible, it's Quite probably. Oh yeah, he's uh, invulnerable to piercing damage. I forgot. Well, to every damage, really. Only not to elemental. So, 
the only possibility here would be that he is a pastor son. And if I'm not mistaken, if I don't remember if I don't remember incorrectly, it's most likely to be um Buster Son with the Wanda rule over Moonrise Towers. Um I don't know, long ago sort of thing. But that's what it's what it's told. The lot about this guy is not really that important, really. It's pretty um, what would you call it? It's not irrelevant, like harshly irrelevant, but yeah, it's not so important. So let's talk about the first one we encountered, which it was um, the golden woman. I forgot her name. Uh. Whatever we do, it doesn't really matter. He doesn't take any damage. This one, oh, this one's different though. Oh yeah. Everything is red now. So yeah, the first one as I was talking about, I believe it was Geringoth Thorn. So what is said about, uh, what it is said about her, it's the... Um, she wasn't necessarily a worker of the toll house, but it's more a sort of like a mannerism of her past life. She was apparently someone that was very obsessed with doing her job correctly. And in the end, everything that was left was her, um, her gold. As for Malus, Malus Thorn, the surgeon that we encountered in last episode, it's apparently... Well, all of these are siblings of Thorn. Uh, with Geringoth, it would be a very distant cousin or very distant sibling, very distant relative of it all. Meaning... Okay, fire damage. They were not very uh, close. When it comes to this guy, he was really put aside. Uh, not even being acknowledged, really. And with Malus, it would seem that he was the only one who had a more direct approach to Catholic. Because it is speculated that. Because Molos was clearly a Shar worshipper, it's him that introduced Ketherick into the Lady of Sorrow. But please, if you uh, have any more knowledge about that, which I don't really think... Well, for me it's not that important, but everything that you can add to this is always uh, well received. And yeah, as I previously said, I cannot pinch him, I cannot slash him. So Karak is basically useless against him. Unless it's the Frenzied Strike, I think. Although I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Well, it makes 5 damage, you know. But yeah, only elemental damage to this guy. Oh yeah, and another thing to mention is that this guy, this of Bald, is the one that was referring the letter that we found outside the morgue. This is the one guy that makes the poisons. The very powerful, very famous poison. From a letter that we found outside the morgue. Right. 
I got the sun beam. Should I waste it on that? I want to hit Karlak. Mm, not necessarily. Fire damage. Right. She's saying execution, however, he's got way too much HP. So, that, this is something I, I was thinking about. Let me know if it's better that I talk about this stuff and check my notes that I have prepared during the fights. It's kind of difficult to concentrate and I don't know if it's annoying with the noise for you. But yeah, let me know those things. Guy's still alive, lol. He's tottering. Yuck. Right. Gods, it's hot in here. Carla can only One, two. <laughs> worry about the others. Damn, the critical miss. Why is it always one? <laughs> Last one? Let's go. Yuck. The stomach open. So only this guy left. May the carrion birds grow fat on you. Pity we had to kill him. He seemed more lonely than cruel. Looking ahead. Precisely. Like this guy was more like put aside more than anything else. So we got a key, gold, and basically just lots of liquor. So I hope it was understandable through the fight with the well with the noise and 
me not really being concentrated enough to uh, to speak plainly. Just something I wanted to try to see how, how it looked. Later when I'm editing, I realized it was good or it was, you know, shit. Something over there. So that's the rat pad. Uh, well, I'm assuming it's the weapon he was using to kill rats. However, here we find the ledger. Which is, uh, this is, guys, what the... What the necromancer that we met in the Shadow Curse Lands asked, uh, asked us to um, to retrieve. And with the key we just picked up, we can open up back here. And as I told you, this guy is the one that's making um, that powerful, famous poison and whatnot. So, very important here. When you press tab or whatever button you use to reveal, there is something in this room that it won't be revealed anyway. And it's this here. Purple worm gullet. Which is used precisely for the poison that I'm talking about. If we check these research notes, Research notes. They describe Sorry, a research. venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distill a thizzable thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Thizzable devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients, without success. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thizzabald required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thizzabald enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Right. So, we do have this. Because I showed you the chest outside the morgue before coming here. So this doesn't really matter if we get it or not because we know it. And since, since I succeeded, you're gonna see that it actually tells me we got it. The location is revealed. And it seems you have already discovered the package. Right. So this is uh, inflict noxious fumes upon the targets. Well, I found a few things, uh, a few things of gear on poison. I don't know if it's possible a like poisonous peel, something like that. We should check it out. But it's a trap. Yeah, he refers to Ketherick as father, as you can see. So, if we check the alchemy, I think it was in... Coatings. Well, there's that. Salts of corpse rose. Any suspension. Thistles brew up belly glamour. It's very rare. Supposedly you can make two poisons with 
there with the worm. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, maybe I got the com I got another component on camp or something, but yeah, let's just make one of them. Why not? It's a very rare. Mm. There. Got a few things here. Imagine if we would have um, bring us bring a star on all this way like the lock picks and the traps are just just jokes he gets to have like a, I don't know something like a 30 uh, bonus few things here for the alchemy oh oh my must be what's left of that would-be extortionist. And I believe there is something else secret in here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Hmm. There we are. What's that? Nice. And that's it. That's it for this area, lads. Since we got the the book, the ledger, whatever whatever they call it, we should go and see about the necromancer. See what this is about. Um, just trying to see. Have I missed anything? Well, there is a chest there. Let's go. Well, just some alchemy stuff. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so, let's go to here. Right. Over here... Yeah, here. Give the ledger to he who was, well, the necromancer we met. Um, so what we, what he wanted was to um, proceed in trial on a dead person because apparently uh, being dead is not an excuse to not face justice. <laughs> Something like that. Well, we like justice. Supposedly, being a paladin and all that. But, who knows, you know, necromancy. I'm diverting, sorry. Here. And the book, it's supposedly um, the proof, the, yeah, the evidence. There he is. Hello. I got the book. The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. Um, tell me why you want it first. To punish a murderer. If that is not enough, leave. I have no time for those lacking commitment. Very well, very well. Um, yeah, take it. We have it. Her lies, her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. 
Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. Um, Oathbreaker. Oathbreaker of the Vengeance, lol. When punishment is needed, my hand will not shy from the blade. Well, if she was a killer, we we do want to depart justice. Raven was right. We were fated to meet. Roleplay speaking. Break her, my friend. Most thorough. Witness. <sighs> oh. You. He said I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Didn't mean to hurt anyone. You didn't, uh, you didn't mean to kill your friends. How laughable! I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was gonna chat with him. She promised. I mean, that was a bit rich for me, considering that I have killed. But. I don't get it. They were drunk, whining, and she put up a dark justice on them. That if it, if it was drunk complaining, why did you report them? The dark justice you're said to report everything, big or small. She ain't the type you say no to. She gave him a dagger each, and told him to press it against their stomachs. Holy shit. To start stabbing. Nah, that's hard as fuck. And not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. Fucking okay, hell. Right. Then hurt yourself as Ben and Mark did. Stab yourself. Wait, 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 wait. But you do that and the guy dies. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanna <laughs> hold on. I wanna see this because I did the comp I did this completely different. Uh, my first run. Hold on. <laughs> the critical fate. Like this. This shit start yeah don't stop until i say so we're gonna load by the way i'm sorry i just want i just wanted to see it i'm so sorry because what's gonna happen when does does he die yeah yeah keep going lol i'm sorry Oh, there he is. <laughs> you vile sadist. What have you done to me? You said to punish her. Not to the point of killing this body. You will join me in the darkness of oblivion. You treacherous insect. No, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna fight this. I just wanted to see that. This didn't happen, okay, lads? That, that, that is a alternate universe. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh. Fuck. In any case, lads, we don't need to punish her and make her feel bad. Um... 
for no particular reason other than a reward. So yeah, you might let me know. Whenever you feel unhappy with a decision that I made, also let me know. Like that can decide the um, the path that our paladin will take. You know, it could be fun. Just take his suggestion. To start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I do anything to take it back. Anything. Right. You murder your friends, you're a coward. Yeah, we need to make her feel bad, otherwise the the guy, the necromancer, is gonna know. You're right. I'm a killer. A monster. I should have died instead. <gasps> Glorious. <laughs> Look, my hand still shakes. You broke her most thoroughly. Well done. This was just some perverted fantasy of yours, wasn't it? Yeah, he did, he doesn't seem like the lawful, or at least just this seeking person, really. Perhaps, but we both got what we wanted, didn't we? You have done well. Her pain and anguish were sublime. I will treasure it. Here, for your services. Should I find another murderer in need of torment, I shall call upon you. Farewell. Right, so this is the thing. It's not such a big deal, but you can conjure a raven with that. So, you know, who knows? Maybe we use it. 70 gold. Right. So yeah, that was it about this mission. Now, to the matches ahead. Because we are... Uh, you, might, you might not perceive this, but we are going at a fast pace. Like, in nothing... In within a few, mm, in a few more minutes, we're gonna get diving deep into some other stuff that it's really um, important. So first of all, let's go back and kill Isabel, shall we? <laughs> let's kill Isabel, guys. Right, so let me explain you a couple of things here. We got uh, the Grand Mausoleum here, which is some, somewhere we need to go. Back there, over here, so more or less, there is an entrance, and basically it's a Charon Temple. Over there we get a lot of... Um, well, we get a mission of Shadow Heart, and that's gonna get us unraveling her story, right? Just like we're gonna do with the rest of the characters. We've done a little bit of that with Lysel. And with Will, we had a couple of moments as well. I wish we had a bloody army. But we haven't seen anything from Lay Cell since uh, half of Act 1, so yeah. However, if we do that first, you see here in Moonrise Towers, we are not going to be able to save the Tiflings. I, I figured I would let you know that because I think it's kind of important. So, we are going to go there first who knows what lies behind the curtain of smoke one another important thing to let you know in case you as, as always in case you're following this as a guide or a walkthrough one important thing it's to bench Halcyon already we cannot take him in uh, because he doesn't have a tadpole so we're gonna bench Halsin. It's been it's been helpful, it's been nice. You gotta stay with the kid lad. Oak Father preserve you. Wherever you need me. 
I'll be right here in camp. Take care out there. Right. And we might as well take Laysel or yeah, Laysel. Halson's proved himself a fine ally already. He'll be useful in battle if those tree trunk arms are an indication. Right. It is done. I was just checking for more options on, on dialogue. But yeah, we take like cell. Let's get her ready for next episode so we don't do these things in the next one. Uh, she's a monk, right? Yeah, we left her a monk. We are going to change to the other monk, I think. Not gonna make any cr uh, crazy changes yet. But as for the feet. Um, well, we could either do 20 decks, but we can also go athlete and do it anyway. Right. Can't give up now. Moonrise Towers at last. Make no mistake. Precisely. About these gay tadpoles. Easy, Lazel. We need answers, yes. But you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Perhaps that doesn't translate. I don't know if Gith Yankee have honey or vinegar or flies, even. Let's just show some restraint. <laughs> oh, this too. Capable of restraint, just as you're capable of raw fury. I trust we'll find reason to exercise both here. That is just so good to have. Anyway, let's step in through here. We get deep into real shit, sort of speak. So, we're gonna leave it for the next episode. Thank you so much once again. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.